light the streets up Once again, this, um, first I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Like, comment, comment, share, good or bad comments, who cares? Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share me up. This, uh, Cook and Sip is dedicated <laughs> to Deanna Owens. Deanna Owens left me a message and asked me what I do, either a story time or a cooking video so Deanna Deanna I hope I'm saying it right this video is for you um it's gonna be a quick 15 minute throw together chili we gonna throw it together real quick and since I'm so real with my people I'm gonna let y'all know I'm, I'm hurting my hip is in pain um from this fibromyalgia and all of this fun stuff that I have going on in my life but I'm gonna make a quick chili I'm gonna throw it together and you guys are gonna be with me while I do it come on real quick you guys okay you guys let's do this this is gonna be really simple really quick I already did kind of a prepping for you and I really want this to be as simple as can be again it's just gonna be some home some chili um, that we're cooking my kids love chili my husband loves chili and it's really just a quick simple meal for us moms to go ahead and throw together And today, today I won't be breaking it down from scratch. Today I'm going to show you how to make it quick and easy from the, with the chili packets. Now my chili packets, bam! I actually just get these from Aldi's, you guys. These are chili packets I get from Aldi's. The brand is Stone Meal. Now I use all of Stone Meal seasoning also. They are pretty good, so... We're going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and put this up to my mouth one more time. I'm going to tell y'all it's about 3.15 here in Texas. We already, um, I already went to work today. I made a, a vlog video that I need to put up for you guys for my son's award ceremony. And you know how we do the car ride. Y'all see I got my famous gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and saute some onions. This is one whole onion. And this is a whole bell pepper. I'm probably going to use more than half of each, but not all. I'm just on it. I'm using it all because I love I love onions, you guys. You guys can decide how you want to measure those. And I'm gonna use They ain't too crazy about bell peppers, but I am, and I'm the cook, so you get what I'm giving. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that um onion and bell pepper start to marinate a little bit. You know what I'm talking about. Let the once the onions become a little, not all the way, a little transparent, then we'll add in the ground beef, okay? And remember, Deanna, this is, you know, just a quick recipe that I'm throwing together because I really want to go lay down um, and take my medication. Um, so, I just figured, what is something easy that I can throw together that I already have at home? So the first thing that popped in mind was chili because I know I can do that quick, fast, hurry. I'm a, I have, let me give y'all some of the ingredients that I'm going to throw in. I'm going to throw in, I think it's a pound or two of ground beef. And actually, yeah, I'm going to use the, all the ground beef. So I'm using a pound, a pound of ground beef. It may be two pounds. I can't recall right now. But that's something that you decide of how much ground beef you want to use. I'm going to use a little garlic powder. Powder, not salt. 
I'm also going to use some steak seasoning, which is by the Stone Mill Company that I said already. Remember, you guys, I told y'all I put steak seasoning on everything because pretty much everything I need is in there. Salt. I don't need to add any salt. I got steak seasoning. Um, it has garlic and some kind of cloves in here, too, but I just got like a little added garlic powder i could use fresh garlic but who wants to do all that work on the work do all that work tonight um i'm gonna add a little bit of salsa into mine maybe a cup less than a, a cup worth a half a cup of salsa just for a little chunkiness to get some tomatoes up in there because i don't really use chunky tomatoes in my mind so you can use any salsa you want to use I'm going to use some um, spaghetti sauce. And I like this spaghetti sauce, you guys. I get this from Aldi's also. If you have Aldi's in your area, this is $0.89. Cent and it's great. You would think this was glass. No, that's plastic, you guys. But I just thought that because it used to be glass. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use this traditional spaghetti sauce. One container. And I'll probably fill this up with water and pour that in. Um, I also got these beans from... Um, these beans from Aldi's. Now, I'm only going to use one can of beans because they're not too crazy about beans, but I'm from Wisconsin. They used to put beans in our chili in Texas. They don't really put beans in the chili, but it is what it is. This is my house. This is how I make it. I'm putting beans in, and I like the Western style beans. They are really good. I know I'm talking fast, y'all, because I'm trying to hurry up and do this so that I can um, lay down on this. My hip is really hurting, but neither here or there and what's my favorite what's my favorite ingredient you guys bam onion soup packet we gonna throw that in there too that's why i don't do too much seasoning because that onion soup packet with the salt and the onion and all of that in there is gonna kick it up a notch for us and i will be using a pack and a half of this uh stone meal original seasoning chili seasoning from all these also so all my ingredients pretty much have come from um, Aldi's. Now, I want some pasta. I wanted some um, macaroni noodles in it. If you guys ever had chili mac, same concept. Except all I had was the rotini noodles. I'm only going to make probably a cup or two of the rotini noodles. Um, I'm not going to put them in there. To I'm going to take my husband some out first. And then I will put in the noodles because he doesn't want all the pasta, carbs, whatever, in his. Um, if you guys watch my vlog once I post it, I'm trying to get all my bad foods out for within these next two weeks because I will be starting my diet. My birthday is coming up. It's next week, June 3rd. Somebody had to rem June 2nd. I'm June 2nd. Oh, my God. My birthday is June 2nd. I will be 43 years young. What are my plans? I don't really know. I haven't even made any. Someone actually had to remind me today that my birthday was next week. Kind of crept up on me this year. Like I said, I went to my son's uh, award ceremony. Y'all, I think I want mine to stop right there because it's still going to cook as it's stewing. I should have took, I should have uh, watched the time and we could have really, well... My time on the camera says six minutes so far. So six minutes, that's pretty good. We already adding in our meat. And I'm just going to go ahead and break this up now. And of course, I'll break it up more as it cooks. I just really hate chunk, chunk, chunks of meat. And we will strain this once the grease cooks off. You can use ground turkey also. I do have ground turkey. Just This was already out on thought. I took it out this morning. So you can use ground turkey also. All right, y'all. Let me wash my gloves. Yeah, I said, let me wash my gloves. All of those who watch my cooking videos know that I wash my hands with my gloves on. Okay, so let's go ahead and season this meat, you guys. My people, my people. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, 
I'm alive. I'm grateful for that. I'm just trying to, like I said, lay so I can hurry up and get done cooking so I can sit down. My son award ceremony lasted an hour, but I swear for cheese and crackers, it felt like it, it lasted about, y'all, I'm sorry, let me pause. Season this to your taste. This is steak seasoning. I put a generous amount on there once I see that it's all covered. And once I mix it up and stir it, I may go back and add a little more. I'm going to use this whole packet of onion soup pack seasoning. That onion taste just does something for me. That's uh, optional. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. Go ahead and I want to get those onions and bell peppers off the bottom of this pot. And the reason why I'm cooking it in the same pot that my chili will be in is I'm trying to eliminate dishes. I know you moms out there, fathers out there, parents out there. I know y'all know how I feel not to have to wash a lot, not, not wanting to wash a lot of dishes. Damani, I hope you cleaning up that room like I said. Okay. So, and y'all know, what did I tell y'all about your pots and pans? Take care of them. Don't scratch them up with that clicking and the clacking. But the, you got, if you got um, Teflon plant pans, make sure you're using the plastic wear that they send along with it so you don't scratch up your, your pots and pans. Okay, y'all, we're going to let this brown. I'm going to drain it. I'm going to come back, and we're going to go ahead and add in some more ingredients. All right, y'all. So, let's see what the meat looks like. I already drained the ground, the, drained the grease off of it. So, it look, it's looking good and brown. Let's go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. So, let me start off by saying this. We are all different people. We are all different walks of races, life, whatever. You guys make your chili however you make your chili. This is a quick, fast, hurry chili for me. Um, we all do things differently. And like I said, make it to your taste. I will put the ingredients that I use for this quick chili down in the description box. Now, I know some places around the world people use crackers we use crackers with our chili we put sprinkled cheese on top and we use crackers some people make frito pie um some people you make cornbread it's all delicious to me but today these people in this house will be getting crackers because um yeah i need to set it down okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add in my one can of beans I actually like the ju the the little juice that be in there too with the beans. It's kind of flavored. That western style bean. I wish I could put more beans in, but they would have a whole baby if I did. Y'all know how some some places be like in the south when we moved here. If it was summer, they wouldn't make chili. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, y'all. I'm so sorry. If it was summer, they wouldn't make chili here. If it's summer, they don't make um, dressing. If I can cook it, and if I wake up with that taste in my mouth that I want it, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cook it. It could be 100 degrees outside, but, that's what, but guess what it is in my house? It's probably uh, 72, 68 degrees in my house. So that means I can still cook what I want to any time the season is. It's just crazy. You know, it's just, we're all diff different fo folks. Different strokes for different folks. I used a packet and a half of my um, chili seasoning. I'm going to use a one cup of my salsa. I'm going to use an entire jar of my spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to fill this up with water, y'all. For the acidity from the spaghetti sauce, I'm going to use a teaspoon of brown sugar just to knock off some of that acidity. I might use a little more, y'all. I don't really like it sweet, but... So, a whole teaspoon of um, brown sugar. Let me fill this up with some water. 
And then I'm going to add a little more of that steak seasoning and garlic powder. I don't know if y'all heard me. I was at the sink. I'm going to add a little more. I'm using this whole thing full of water. I filled it up with water. I might add a little more, y'all. It depends on the quantity, how it looks to you. And, and it, do y'all know how difficult it is to change your mindset of how you cook? Like, I'm used to cooking for seven people. Two of my girls have already moved out. I'm going to add a half a cup of water to that, y'all. So, I would, I'm sorry. Y'all not a half a cup of water, a half of this container. So, one and a half of these of water. Let me see. A little over. <laughs> you know, you got to look and see. Um, I would say a little over one of these of water. I wouldn't do a whole a whole container and a half. I did a little bit over a, a whole container. So look how that look, y'all, already. Don't that look good and chunky? That's the bean in there. The chili is in there. I'm, uh, the chili beans are in there. Those western beans. I'm going to add in a little more of my seasoning. My steak seasoning. And a little bit of garlic powder. Lettuce. Well, then we're going to let this taste your food, you guys. I'm about to taste mine in a second. Let me just get it stirred up good. I already got my pasta boiling over there. That look good, y'all. I wish I was here to taste it. Hmm, you want some? Want some? Deanna, I made a cooking recipe for you. A cooking video for you. What do I want to put in there? I want something else in there. We're going to turn this heat down. I think, I feel like I want to put, mmm, that's good, y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't need anything else. I'm going to put this on simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to come back. And I'm going to plate it up for you guys and let, it, let you guys see how it looks like with the pasta in it. I'll be back. All right, you guys. I think we are all set. Let's take a look. Yes, honey. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Yes, that is looking delicious. All right. And that was quick, fast, hurry, you guys. It didn't take no time at all. Let me show how it looks once I put a little cheese on it. And I do have some little pasta noodles in mine so it is going to be delicious i'm going to have crackers with mine and that's going to be dinner for tonight say hi holy y'all that's my big my my big baby one of my big babies mark come here there she go that's my baby right there look Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, my peeps. Come here. Come here, Tina. Come here, Tina. Say hi. Say hi to your people. That's my pug, you guys. Cooley. Cooley. Come here. Okay. You too big, too heavy. About to knock me over as usual. Thanks to my people for coming by, seeing me. He about to knock me over. He's so excited. Get down. Sit. Have a seat. So that was a quick, fast, chili mac. If you want to add the macaroni noodles or the zucchini noodles, whatever you have in hand. Um, make it do what it do. Um, that was it. Um, follow the, the directions. I'm going to add them down in the description box for you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks, thanks for watching my videos. Um, 
Again, thank you to all my subscribers. Y'all my people. Y'all my famo. Thanks for coming by here and seeing Miss True Red Bone. Tell your mommy, your daddy, sister, brother, auntie, uncle to come by here and see me. Don't let the dough hit you with a good low split you. And I'm going to go in here and edit this video for you guys. Y'all have a safe night. Peace.